Okay, Friday, uh, July 8th. Here we go. More kind of melodic minor, sort of. No tabs, no nothing for this one. I'm probably gonna do more like that, honestly, just like concepts and stuff. Anyways, we have a couple spots where you could think it's coming from melodic minor. It's also shared with like harmonic minor. We got some diminished stuff, so it's kind of related. Not straight up melodic minor, but whatever. Oh, we're using seven string today. Love the other one, but this one sounds great. We're in A flat standard on this seven string. So take that into account if anyone's actually trying to figure this out and it doesn't sound the right way or something. That's why, A flat standard. Uh, just tune everything down, step and a half. You're golden. Um, let's just go straight into high budget, we'll break it down. So, high budget, here we go. We're starting, well, we're outlining some harmony like we always want to do. So we're starting with like a C major type of thing, C major seven. I'm just gonna say it like if we're in standard tuning position wise, even though I know the notes aren't accurate, it'll make positioning easier though. So it's like a C major seven. Dude, are we even in tune? Probably not, why would we be? So no tabs for this one again, this is all con conceptual. You can, you can apply the ideas however you want. So we have C major. Okay, we have C major 7. It's kind of like outlining a C major 9 type of thing. You could do either though, so it's just arpeggiating that. You could do C major 7 too. Alright, so we have that. Now we're coming down like an E minor 7. So, so far for the harmony we have this type of thing. Very typical harmony you'd probably hear, very cool sounding. So we go, we descend through that E minor 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we slide up. It's like, um, you think of it like an F sharp minor 7 flat 5. But starting from the flat 7, sort of on the G, so we descend through E minor 7, and we just ascend starting from that flat 7 of the F sharp, minus 7, flat 5. Okay, after that, we slide up, so this is kind of where, like, the harmonic minor slash melodic minor thing comes in. We're putting a major 7 sharp 5. It's on, like, the flat 3 of E, so if you're thinking, like, E minor, your flat 3 is usually like a major, but we're sharpening the five. That could be coming from harmonic or melodic minor, pretty much. It's basically like a, um, man, seven string throws me off so bad with notes. G major seven sharp five. So we're just descending, starting from the, uh, the 15th fret way up here on the high E. And we just descend. Alright, after this we slide up. Here's the diminished thing. So it's like A diminished, which is kind of weird, but it works. So yeah, that's not really melodic minor, is it? But whatever. We got our one concept in there, at least. Like we got one at the end too, kind of. So we ascend up this A diminished 7 arpeggio. And there's this thing. So that's outlining like a C minor major 7, which kind of comes from, again, harmonic minor and melodic minor. Sort of implying like the 4 minor type of thing. So it's just like the upper part of that C minor major 7. So we slide back and forth, starting on 17, up to 19, back, then 15, and then 16, B string, and then G string we have... 17 to 16, which is, it's the fifth of E, which is nice and consonant. So that'll sound pretty cool if you resolve it back. All right, let's review the harmony. So we have C major, C major nine, whatever. E minor seven, moving to F sharp, 
minor seven flat five, and then G, G major seven sharp five. Again, harmonic, melodic, whichever minor you want. You can think about it both ways. All right, next one's A diminished. And then it resolves down through the C, minor major seven. I guess we could put that here. And then back to like an E minor thing. There it is. Resolving on the fifth right there. Man, I'm losing my mind today. I am so tired. So kind of dark harmony. That's definitely harmonic minor, man. Now I'm thinking about it, like, you could argue you're stealing the major 7 sharp 5 for melodic minor, but that, that sounds so harmonic minor to me. So whatever. That's the whole idea, though. So just take those arpeggios and just kind of string them together like that. And there's, it's not supposed to be anything, like, super specific. It's just outlining the harmony in a cool way. So, you know, you can do whatever. <laughs> Super dark harmony for whatever reason today, but it sounds pretty cool. So yeah, that's the idea. I might do just more stuff like this, just more conceptual ideas. I think that's more useful than like specifically tabbed out stuff. I think that's all we need to do with that. We're gonna wrap it up there. That's the week. Next week is totally up in the air. Not sure what the schedule is. Got um, we got one show next Saturday. Brooklyn, New York. I'll put the info somewhere around here for the absurd condition stuff. We're gonna be doing that at the Kingsland, I believe, in Brooklyn. And then the week after that, Saturday after that one, we're also in Brooklyn. Lucky 13 will be there. And then after that, we got some more stuff, but I'll wait on that. So if anyone's hanging out, hanging out in Brooklyn, whatever, next couple weekends, we'll be there playing, playing our nonsense live. So that'll be cool. And other than that, yeah, I don't know what the schedule is for next week. Don't know if I'm going to be back on Monday. It's just been, been pretty busy, so, so we'll see what happens. But for now, check that stuff out if anyone cares. So we'll be back at some point. All right, we're out of here.